received your bacon in the mail. I'm a little bit busy this week. I'll I'll leave, I'll definitely do this next week though. I'm taking finals next week, so I wouldn't really want to get sick. Last week after I made my video, um both Ellie and Zoe gave me really nice comments saying, "Oh no, you shouldn't feel bad for not liking bacon. It's okay. At least you tried." And I I didn't think that was a very appropriate way to treat the situation. Saying that I don't like bacon is a really big insult to the internet. And I feel like it shouldn't be handled so lightly. I thought maybe during my video I was a bit too sentimental. The following day, Bethan gave me what I deserved. But I'll try bacon next week. And if I do like it, I will no longer be a disgrace. And in my defense, people do eat tomato and mozzarella sandwiches, just not with bacon or hash browns. I just kind of threw the hash browns in there so that I could dilute the flavor. That didn't work. So the last movie that I saw was Breaking Dawn. I feel like I never stop being a disgrace to the internet. People seem to really hate Twilight for many good reasons, but I just want to put this thought out there that it's a very cute story, even though it is kind of poisoning the teenage mind. If any of you guys have heard about Breaking Dawn, the one thing that you probably know about it is that the main character, Bella, she is impregnated with a baby and it has magical properties. I watched a video a few days ago from YouTube and it made this really weird comparison that I didn't really notice before between Bella and Virgin Mary. I'm actually giving out quite a big spoiler in the story, but one of the most shocking things that happens in this movie is that Edward reveals that he's actually God. He kind of comes out and says, No, Bella, you can't, no one can be immortal because I am God. Kind of like how Virgin Mary kind of and God had like a similar thing. I can't believe I didn't notice this connection. I'm really stupid. I haven't read the book yet, so I don't know what's going to happen in part two. But I'm guessing from this trend that the baby that Bella gave birth to is going to be crucified. Okay.